everybody. How are you guys this week? It's Friday. Yay. Happy Friday. Looks like my camera, whoa, is really, really high. There we go. It's balancing precariously on my cut and emboss machine. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fall over. I hope you guys have had a great week. We have had some cold weather this week. You guys know how I feel about that. It's very exciting around here when it gets cold. And I won't say how cold because I know all you guys up there in the north are going to just make fun of me. But it was chilly. Very chilly. <laughs> Finally, after six solid months of 90 plus degrees, it's nice to have a little bit of cool weather. Hi guys. Okay, good. I see you jumping on. All right. I'm not going to talk for a long time today because I have to be done no later than 3.15. Um, I got to pick my daughter up from school. She is trying out for the basketball team and she finds out today at 4.10 and she did not want to ride the bus home in case it was bad news. <laughs> so I have to be there to pick her up. Hopefully it's good news. Hopefully. Um, okay, let's see. So today, Facebook Friday, we're doing bright baubles. Who uses the word baubles? I mean, really, does, do any of you use the word baubles? I think it's weird. I've never used that word, except maybe in a joke. So bright baubles is the name. They are ornaments. They're very cute. And I will say that this set didn't do anything for me as I flipped through the catalog. Meh. But I started playing with it and the dies are fantastic. So I think you guys are gonna like like um, what I have come up with. I have three projects today and a bonus one on Monday and I think you're really gonna like it. So we're gonna do three today using the bright baubles. I feel like I should be wearing something fancy when I say that. Um, I totally forgot to tell you guys last week about new products that came out this week. Totally forgot. It's not related to Christmas or the holidays, so boop, it's like out of my mind. Um, every year in November, Stampin' Up! will release product from the spring catalog, like an early release. And this year they released, it's called Eden's Garden. You might have seen my card on Tuesday that I made with it. Um, it is really pretty. It is not necessarily my style of stamp set specifically, however, it's beautiful. I will tell you when I played with it, I was very impressed with what I came up with. Well, that sounded wrong. I was very impressed with what it produced. <laughs> That's what I should say. It's really beautiful, soft. Um, the sentiments are great. Dear friend, how are you? I like that one. Sending hugs. Uh, my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. That's so sweet. So um, it looks like it's the distinctive style. I don't know if it necessarily is. It doesn't say that it is, um, but it's very pretty. So matching dies, stamp set. And then there are pa there's paper that goes with it, designer series paper, and it's all green tones, okay? Um, there's like a simple pattern on one side, a busy pattern with gold on the other side. Um, I've chopped all mine up so it's like in pieces because I've been using it. But you can see um, there's like a speckled. I like that. You know, I always like the simpler um, patterns. Um, if you search, it's called Eden's Garden. And if you look at this one, I like that one. If you search Eden's Garden on Pinterest, Boy, there's a ton of ideas out there already. So there's the bundle, the paper, and then there's this cotton paper, which is like a thick, can you hear it? It's like a thick tissue paper. And it comes in, it's evening evergreen and um, soft succulent. And the only thing that I have done with it, because like I said, I just have been too busy with getting ready for all of our holiday things that are coming up, is I made a little ruffle there on the bottom with it. You can scrunch it, scrunches real easily. Um, I've seen other people emboss with it. Stampin' Up! did, I think it was Stampin' Up! did a reel this week on Instagram where they smooshed it down onto cardstock and it was beautiful. So the last piece of this, com the last component of this product release is um, gems. They're called garden gems. I don't have them because they were not available for pre-order when demonstrators could order it. So here are all the products. I linked them in my email. Hopefully you guys got that earlier in the week. If you go to the Stampin' Up! store, it's gonna be the first thing you see. I'm pretty sure there's a big banner right there. So you can click and see 
Um, there's, so de designer series paper, there's the cotton paper, the gems, and the stamps and the dies. And then if you want all of it, there's one item number to get all of it. So I just wanted to make sure that I told you guys, I totally forgot to mention it last week. Remember at the end of, of Facebook Friday last week, I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I guess that's what it was. Thank you. Who was it? Kareen, I think maybe, who brought, who brought to my attention that, isn't there something coming out? I should have told you guys. Sorry about that. Okay, next up, um, Paper Pumpkin. This month's Paper Pumpkin. I know, it's backwards. I know. But just look at the picture. It's totally cute. Which way do I go? Um, Paper Pumpkin for November. The deadline is November 10th, which I believe is Wednesday to subscribe. Um, this month is nine oversized treat boxes. So you know it's my favorite kind. Um, and if you don't like boxes, they always have um, alternate ideas that you can do to make them cards. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I will have a few extra, but I would recommend that you just subscribe. You can always subscribe for one month and then cancel. If you want more than nine little boxes, you can up your subscription. When you go to the Paper Pumpkin page, it'll show you your information and there's just a little you know, like an arrow, you can up your subscription. And that's what I do. Sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less, depending on how I feel about product projects. But I think this is really cute. So I wanted to make sure to mention it to you. Um, okay, I think I'm going to turn the camera around because the rest of the stuff I just want to show you guys um, and talk about. Okay, so let me turn you guys around. Hopefully I don't knock everything over. Let's see. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Now, new all-star tutorial bundle for November. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Let's see, just a little bit, because I always feel like it's so far away. Let me see, uh-oh, no, darn it. Okay, I can't do that, hold on. Guest request, it says. Who wants to come, who wants to go live with me? I don't think anybody wants to go live. <laughs> you ever accidentally hit that button request to go live with Erica and then you're like no no don't no cancel I've done that before okay there we go so all-star tutorial bundle this month is the sweet symmetry and I absolutely adore this um suite of products look at that um, this is, you can see, here's mine. It's a box that holds a pack of gum. There's lots of cards in here. Um, these are all designed by, there's mine. These are all designed by different demonstrators. There's 12 different tutorials in here, each featuring the sweet symmetry suite of products. Let me turn that fan down. Um, you can, you can earn this for free by spending $50 online with me. Or if you're a subscriber, I sent them out first thing on Monday morning. Hopefully you got yours. If not, please message me. Um, and then the third option is it's available in my PDF store um, if you would like to purchase it for $15. They're all videos. Um, so there'll be a link there on the page for you to click and you can go to the video. And then every every tutorial has a list of the supplies as well as, as well as measurements and metric and imperial. Um, so there's that, it's new, it's super cute. And Sweet Symmetry is going to be next month's Club Create projects. And you know what, I'm just gonna give you guys a little, little sneaky peeky of next month's Club Create. Look how stinking cute this is. Okay, sneak peek, that's all I'm showing you. Subscription is not open for that, but it will be open um, next week. I will open subscriptions back up for December Club Create next week in case you're interested, okay? That was just a little sneak peek. <laughs> okay, next. Um, retreat to go. My retreat to go people, I am way ahead of schedule, but just like you to know, that I'm way ahead of schedule. Now, if only all the things I've ordered for pillow gifts will get here on time so that Denise and I can get them all ready, we might, might be able to get these out earlier than expected. So anyway, your projects are actually already packed, cut and packed and waiting to be put into their bags. I also need all the product. I haven't got any of the product yet. It's supposed to come today. Um, but if you would like the PDF to my Frosted Gingerbread Retreat projects, there are eight projects here. 
Um, this is available in my PDF store, okay? Um, it features the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle Suite of products. I have two classes to go right now. Um, the first one is the Pretty Pillow Box. And also, you guys, if you have already registered for this class, I have already started cutting and prepping. And I think I might get done with these earlier than expected, too. I mean, I have just been like this, like a machine this week. My neck is super stiff. <laughs> from cutting paper, um, but is worth it because I'm getting way ahead. So anyway, the Pretty Pillow Box class to go is six different treat packages designed with a Pretty Pillow Box dies. The class to go does not include a stamp set, okay? Um, I use the Holly Jolly stamp set, which is, we're using it today, so it's not in here, and you can add that on. Um, the class has two different options. The class with the dies, it also includes six projects. It includes the, the um, package of gems and the bolt of ribbon is $74. If you do not want the dies, if you already have them, that is $42. You have to have the dies. I'm not cutting these out for you, um, but I am sending you everything so that you'll have all the supplies to do it yourself. Um, and then the PDF, of course, is available in my store for $15. Um, registration on this closes November 14th, which is next Sunday, a week from Sunday, okay? So if you want this, make sure you get in on it. Problem already has occurred that this ribbon is on the back order until December 13th. If you have already registered, I've already ordered your ribbon. Um, however, we, those of you who register later will probably have a different ribbon with yours. Um, and I, hopefully the, the, the designer series paper is now on low inventory. This is what happens around this time of year. Everything starts selling out. So hopefully I don't have to close registration early. If you want in on this class, make sure you register ASAP. Look, something is stuck. That's supposed to be right there. Okay. So that's that. Um, the second class I have is my, um, be Jolly card class, 10 cards, all super cute using the Be Jolly stamp set. Your class to go will include the rhinestones, a pack of paper, and the um, elegant trim. I don't have them here. I, I just, oh, here they are. I ordered them so I would have them in here and a package of that. So you can get it with the stamp set, without the stamp set, PDF only. Um, PDF only is already available in my PDF store, which is a link at the top of my blog. If you want both classes, they will ship, um, for one price, one shipping. You don't have to pay double shipping. You'll just pay shipping once. Um, there's a code on the registration page for this class, I believe. And then you'll see the instructions. You put in like a discount code and it'll subtract the shipping. Um, if you want the registration links for this class or that class, you have to email me because I can't list those online. So if you're on my email list, I've sent them out twice. Check your spam folder if you didn't get it, or just email me and say, please send me the registration links and I will send them to you. Okay, so those are the two classes to go for November. And they have pretty early deadlines, November 14th. Um, hopefully we'll get them out in plenty of time. Okay, next. Start with savings. We have a starter kit sale, you guys. So the starter kit is typically $99, right? And you pick out $125 of whatever you want. It can be from the holiday catalog. It can be from the annual catalog. It could even be clearance rack stuff. Um, up to $125. And then you only pay $99 and it's free shipping. Well, for November, Stampin' Up! has discounted that to $75. Now, I don't have a great memory, but I do not remember them doing this kind of deal. Usually they add things to it, but this time they've just lessened the price, which is amazing. So $75, again, you pick out $125 in product, um, whatever you want. And then you get to be part of my team. You get uh, the Stampin' Up! 20% discount on your purchases after that. Um, I'm going to show you what you do. If you want to join, you go to pinkbuckaroo.com. You click join right there. There is a list of benefits here. Now, sometimes people get freaked out and think, okay, I don't want to do Facebook Lives. I don't want to do classes. This is, this is signing up to be a demonstrator. Yes, it is. 
but there are lots of different kinds of demonstrators, right? You can be whatever kind of demonstrator you want. You can work to make some money. You can work to just support your habit and be, you know, sell just a little bit so that you get, um, make a little bit of money to buy your own stuff. You can be your one and only customer. That's totally fine too. I would say a majority of my team, that's the, that's their, that's where they fit. Um, they are their one and only customer. We call them hobbyist. Um, they join because they love stamping up and they want a discount on the products. They want early access and it's totally fine. Um, or if you think that you would like to do what I do, you can join for that too. I have, everybody is welcome to join my team. I don't judge. I don't care one way or the other, which, which way or what you want to do with your demonstratorship. So just know that. Um, anyway, if you scroll down, it's going to give you all the benefits, um, 20% discount or 20, you make 20% off of the orders that you take. Um, when you're on my team, you get my P all my PDFs for free. You get discounted class kits. Um, we have bi-monthly, um, business builders, zoom. We have monthly team meetings via Facebook live. We have swaps, we have contests, we have um, Secret Santa. We're doing Secret Santa this month. So there's a lot of benefits just for, for being on my team, let alone the benefits you get from Stampin' Up. My favorite benefit from Stampin' Up is getting early access to catalogs, which you will also get as well. Um, you'll get to see the catalogs early. You'll get to order from them early. And it's awesome. Being a demonstrator changed my life. Now, maybe it's not going to be that big for you. Maybe you're just wanting to have some fun and that's good too. Um, but I, I will say that I don't think you'll ever regret buying that starter kit. Okay. So there's that just so that you know, November. One thing I was going to tell you also, um, and I have to be careful the way I word this. This may be something you want for Christmas, right? So like you tell your husband, I want the starter kit. Like, that's what I want you to give me for Christmas. Now, he can't just go buy the starter kit for you. You have to sign up. You have to put in your information. You have to do all of that. But, you know, my husband and I do that all the time. I'm like, order that whatever it is you want for yourself for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we're adults and that's <laughs> how we handle it. So you might think about that. You know, you have until the end of November um, to do this if that's something maybe um, that because you're getting $125 in product for $75, um, you know, that would be a pretty amazing gift to become a demonstrator as your Christmas present. But anyway, that's that. Does anybody have any questions about that? Um, I always just, you know, I just, I love Stampin' Up. I love being a demonstrator. I mean, what else can you say, right? All right, prizes, prizes. Oh my gosh, I'm talking too long, you guys. Okay, prizes. Christy Mathis, Tammy San, San, Sands, Becky White. Tammy, I know I have your mailing address. Becky and Christy, I'm not sure. So email me or message me. Thank you for sharing my videos. Um, you all three have won the Sweets and Treats stamp set. And I forgot to pull out a prize for this week. Ah, I forgot. So don't worry. If you share the video, there'll be prizes next week. I forgot. I'm sorry. I have a giant prize cabinet that I will pull stuff for, for next week. Okay. It's Facebook Friday time again. So this week, Bright Bobbles. If you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick one product. This week, it is the Bright Bobbles bundle. And I make three projects with it. Um, over at pinkbuckaroo.com, there is a free PDF um, at the towards the bottom of my blog post and it's free. It has all the measurements, the, the supplies that I use as well as links to those, some of those things that I just talked about right there. Um, the, I meant to put a link for the join page, but I guess I forgot. I will update the video when I'm done with all those links as well. Um, the other thing connected to Facebook Friday is that today's make and takes, you can earn them for free with a, um, minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. So that host code is right here. Um, it's right here too, if I can get that in the frame. Um, as long, I don't care what you order, you can order anything. This doesn't apply to starter kits, That what we just talked about. It's against Stamina Policy to add anything 
as an incentive to a starter kit. So this, if you buy the starter kit, this, this is not for that. This is just for an online order. Um, so if you would like to order between now and Monday at midnight, make sure you use the host code. And then I will send you the make and takes for free next week. This is what they look like. You will need the Bright Bobbles stamp set and dies, as well as adhesive. I do make you a little thank you tag. That's probably what you guys see in there. Um, but they come, I mail them for free. It's as a thank you. It's kind of like a free card class with purchase. Okay, so make sure you get those orders in mon by Monday at midnight. And if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you get free. I mean, then you get Stampin' Rewards and I will still send you the free um, bacon ticks. Okay, that is that. Are we ready to get stamping? I, um, if you missed me at the beginning, um, I need to be done quickly today <laughs> because my daughter finds out if she makes the basketball team at four o'clock and she didn't want to ride the bus because she was worried that if she doesn't make it, then, then she'll be crying on the bus. And, you know, in seventh grade, you, you don't want to be crying on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> heaven forbid someone sees you have emotions so anyway that's that we're going to try to get done by 305 310 maybe we'll see okay let's get started <laughs> i am more nervous than she is you know i tried out for things in middle school and high school too and thought that that was some of the hardest things i ever did in my life but man having your kid go through tryouts is 10 times harder so hard. I just have been sick to my stomach all day, worried about her. Um, hopefully she will be, um, I don't know. I hope she makes it, but you know, God has a plan. That's why I keep telling her God has a plan. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make what I'm calling a stained glass card because it kind of looks like stained glass. I love this stamp set because you have a lot of options here. You can stamp your baubles, which again, who says baubles? I don't know. I've, I don't think I've ever used that word. <laughs> you can stamp your ornaments or you can cut them out. Um, we're going to do a lot. We're going to do all of it. Um, but the dies also will cut out the stamped images. All right. Um, Maria, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to say her name because she'll come running. She was in here in the beginning. Um, <laughs> but right now she's not here. I don't know. Um, she's been very lazy today, so she's probably asleep. Okay, we're going to first, let's make our ornament first. Um, I'm trying to think. Of, my mind is going all over the place. We're going to cut out this ornament right here, the Christmas tree. Um, we're going to cut out the solid from Misty Moonlight. Okay, then we're going to cut out the outline. We're going to cut it out from Basic White we're gonna cut it out from Just Jade and the top part for the star, we're gonna cut it out from Bumblebee. Now this is a really intricate die, so I recommend getting adhesive sheets and put on the back of your white cardstock. The other pieces you don't need to do this. Um, you could, but I think, I think the way that I'm gonna show you is a little bit easier to do. If you put adhesive sheet on the back of your Just Jade, you're gonna then have to peel off the adhesive sheet off of each piece, which would take a long time. So I'm gonna show you a better way. All right, all right, so let's bring the cut and emboss machine over here, all the way over. I've got new plates this week and they're already, <laughs> look at them, they're already looking like they're not new anymore. All right, we're gonna cut out Misty Moonlight right here and Basic White right here with the adhesive on the back. So is it cold where you guys are at? It got cold here for us Texans. You know, 40s this morning. <laughs> I know, I know. Some of you are like, oh, that's springtime weather. Well, not for us, it's cold. All right, so there we go. You want to turn it over, make sure it cut it out the right way. If it, you know, if you can see in the middle that it hasn't cut them out, you can flip it over and cut it again. I'm going to use my die brush. Get all those little guys out. This is the die brush attachment to the take your pick tool. 
If you haven't gotten the die brush attachment, you really should. It's really helpful. All right, now for the Just Jade, I'm gonna use dryer sheet. I haven't used dryer sheet on Facebook Live in a long time. This is Dollar Tree um, dryer sheets. Uh, you can use the expensive kind from, you know, the, in the grocery store, but they the scent is so strong. It like, it burns my throat. <laughs> I mean, it smells good in your dryer, but when you do this with it, it's too much. So I really like these Dollar Tree um, dryer sheets because they're, the scent is not terribly strong and they're just enough sticky to hold all your things in place. So I, I have put it under the Just Jade cardstock. And I'm gonna cut out Ashley cold there in Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee gets colder than we do for sure. Ooh, 41, ooh. All right, so there we've got that. Now, see how that's all gonna stick to the dryer sheet? That's gonna make it easier for me to piece that together. And then over here, I'm just gonna do the top of the ornament in Bumblebee and Let's see if I can get it with, and keep it and not lose it <laughs> between now and the time that I need it. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's bring back over our white piece and our misty moonlight piece. Now I'm gonna peel off the back, the adhesive. This turns the piece into a sticker. So now I don't have to worry about messy glue trying to get this glued down. We are gonna use glue, but not on those pieces, not on the white thin pieces, okay? All right, so stick it down. Now, you're gonna want some Tombow and your putty end on your take your pick tool. And I'm gonna take my Tombow and just very lightly, I don't wanna get so much that it's gonna squish out but I'm just gonna, like, I'm not even squeezing my glue. I'm just, whatever's there. And then I'm picking up the pieces with my take your pick tool and putting them, it's like a puzzle, putting them where they go, okay? Now you could do this in whatever colors you want. I went with green for the tree and like a dark night sky behind, but you know, the sky's the limit here. Okay. And then we'll do these down here. Ooh, sunny and 52, Rita, that's, that is beautiful. That um, is like perfect weather. You know, the other problem right now is that it's so dark in the mornings. It's this morning, it was cold and dark. You know, I can, I can do, I walk every morning. I do about two and a half to three miles every morning, walk my daughter to the bus stop, and then I walk. I can do one or the other, but cold and dark, I can't do. <laughs> like I want, you know, just one, two is too much. So I actually waited and it didn't get, it did not get light enough here today to walk until about 8.15, 8.20. And usually it's dark, I mean, it's light. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit there and it's not coming out. I don't want it to explode out. Um, I can't stand that dark, dark morning. Um, but luckily we have time change on Sunday. Do you guys hate the time change? I don't mind the time change. I know some people hate it. Okay, so there's your stained glass tree. Easy peasy. When you have that take your pick tool, it makes a huge difference. All right, so now I've got a piece of Misty Moonlight Designer Series paper, and I'm gonna adhere that to the card base, Misty Moonlight card base. I have got a piece of basic white to go on the inside. If it's a dark card base, you wanna put a piece of basic white on the inside so that you can do your writing. Um, I have cut out a stitched uh, rectangle from Misty Moonlight as well. And I've got my snowflakes from, what's this bundle called? Mary Snowflakes. The new, it has the stitched um, snowflake dies that I love. 
And I'm just gonna stamp. Should have put my grid paper down, but I did not. I'm just gonna cover this with snowflakes. Like that. Okay, and then bring on the dimensionals. Lots of dimensionals. Carla says, keeps freezing, 45 in Oklahoma. So Carla, do you mean the video is freezing <laughs> or it's freezing in Oklahoma? Hopefully you're not saying my video is freezing, but if it is, I'm sorry. Okay, dimensionals there, and then we'll do dimensionals here. This stamp set, I, I mean, this whole bundle really, I was just like, eh, that's cute, meh. You know, like it didn't jump out at me, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I, uh, I, I think you guys are going to say the same thing. And, and just this week, I have actually seen lots of of samples on Pinterest and Facebook using this. I think other people are are discovering how cute this this bundle is. Also, I like the size; they're really big too. All right, so some stitched snowflakes like that and then we're going to stamp the sentiment and look at all the words here lots of words you can kind of piece together to make your sentiment and i'm going to do uh, sending joy and i'm i know it's upside down it's okay i'm just going to cut them out i can hear pepper she's in the backyard barking at somebody Maria had asked where she was. All right, now I'm just gonna cut these out as just rectangles. If you don't wanna use your scissors, if you're concerned, use your trimmer, your paper trimmer. But you're just gonna cut them out as just simple rectangles. And, oh, here she comes. Those floppy ears, I can hear her shaking them. And then we shall put these on with many dimensionals. Sending, nope, not there. Sending joy. All right, now a couple of embellishments. Let's do some rhinestones, basic rhinestones, if I can get them to stick. One two you know my dogs think i'm talking to them they're like oh look hi hello every time you turn you start talking we come running I'm not talking to you guys it's not you <laughs> all right did i do okay oh i forgot to i forgot i forgot something but you know what we're just gonna skip it i guess um this die right here I cut it out and then just put the white piece like that and wrapped it around, but <sighs> I forgot. I forgot in the other recording too. There are clean recordings of each of these now over on YouTube and I totally forgot to do it on that one too. Such an afterthought. All right, but I cut the bow off of it because I wanted to use a real bow. So maybe it's not completely even necessary, I don't know. I do like it, that dye to have a little hanger for your ornament. But we're gonna go with it. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? This is cute, paper piecing, when you piece different colors of cardstock together to make your card. It's kind of, well, what I consider a way to color your image, paper piecing. Okay, so there's card number one. And let me move everything out of the way. We will get to card number two. And card number two is really fun. Um, let's see. I'm going to move this over here. With this. Do, 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 do. Hi, Peps. Yes, I see you. Are you wanting a cookie? All right. Let me get them a cookie. Come here, guys. Mommy's talking to the window, so it must be time for a cookie. Okay, here we go. There you go, one, just one. There you go. No, Matt, just one. Okay. All right, next card. Good, I'm glad you guys like it, thanks. This card 
is <laughs> this card evolved from something that I was doing with my team. I couldn't come up with something and I was doing something else. And then this idea popped in my mind and, and then I loved it. Does that ever happen to you guys? So it's a card, right? So a regular card, um, but it has a gift card holder, a gift card card <laughs> right there on the front, a little hanging card. You see that? And then you can just stick your gift card there with glue dots. And then you have a place to write your message. Then you can just cut this off and have just one layer here. Uh oh, I'm seeing interruption on the video. I hope that doesn't mean that we're gonna lose service or something. I've had weird internet issues this week. If that happens, you guys, I'll just go live again somewhere. You'll have to find it. You'll have to refresh if it goes out. Okay. The um, paper that I'm using for this card is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. This paper is a carryover from last year's holiday catalog. I actually used this paper for my holiday retreat last year. I loved it so much. So I'm using it again. Um, this is just a basic white um, card base. Um, you guys know when it, you want a card base, you just take a regular sheet of cardstock and you cut it in half. You can either cut it in half this way or cut it in half this way. And I always put my fold at the top simply because when I photograph a card and I stand it up like that, it photographs better than if I'm photographing it like that. Just a little tidbit. I know some people always say, why do you, why do you put your cards like that? But that's the origination of why I started doing that. Um, and I just have always done it now. All right, I have cut a real red stitched scallop border. This is this die is from the um, penned flower dies, and I'm gonna adhere it behind a two by four and a fourth piece of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. Now, as an afterthought, when I put this in, it gets caught. See that it gets caught on that little ledge right there. Um, this ledge right here. So to prevent that, we're gonna just adhere a piece of basic white cardstock behind it. So now your little gift card holder will slide in nice and smooth, okay? All right, so put adhesive on the left and the right side. I'm skipping like a record, Terry, that's not good. We must be having some solar flares. <laughs> I don't know. It's the it's the, the internet, you guys. All right, so now let's see how that slides. Like that, very good. And I have a little bit of a hangover, hang off. Not a hangover, I don't have a hangover. I have a piece hanging over is what I should say. Okay, now you could, this little card for the front is eight by three scored in half so it's a four a little four by three card you could put designer series paper on the front if you want um but i am really loving this um candy cane background stamp so that's what we're gonna do i have it on my stamp stamparatus from didn't we use it last week still here i'm putting the fold down here at the bottom right at the bottom edge of the where the stamp is gonna stamp the stamp is gonna stamp and we're gonna ink it up in real red. And let's move that magnet out of the way. And then you just wanna equal pressure. Okay, there we go. I'm just looking at comments making sure. Okay. All right. So there, it didn't lay down right very well there. So let me push it again. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus is that then you can lay it down and stamp again if it didn't stamp right the first time. All right. Now I have a piece of basic white and I'm going to use this little, I don't know, what would you call this? A sparkle, <laughs> a sparkle image. I'm gonna do that in the corners. And you know what, I think that yesterday, oh no, this one fits. Yesterday when I did the clean recording, this piece was too big. Um, so I do clean recordings each week of all the projects. So if you wanna come back and watch it, 
as not alive, you can. Um, I know, you know, sometimes you just need to come back and see something and don't want to have to go all the way through. All right, so there you go. You're going to put your gift card on there with a glue dot. And then now we're going to do the adorable little ornament at the front. All right, let me move this. This is like in the way. Okay. Why do I always run out of room? I have a huge table and I run out of room. This time we are going to use, I'm getting sloppy, look. Let's put that back, Erica, so you don't lose things. All right, we're gonna use the snowflake ornament. And the solid, again, we're just gonna do on a piece of basic white. But the snowflake piece, we're gonna use the adhesive sheets. Um, do the die cuts come with this kit? Pam, um, it's a bundle, stamp and die bundles, after asking. Um, the dies, yes, are coordinate with the bright baubles. <laughs> bright baubles, such a weird name. Um, they come as a bundle. All right, so there we go. And we're gonna run that through those that heat that adhesive sheet on the back. It's gonna turn that snowflake into a sticker. All right. Uh, Michelle says, I have used the word bobbles, but talking about jewelry and, and in a joking manner. Exactly. Michelle, that's exactly the way I have used it too. Um, referring to jewelry and kind of in a funny way. All right, let's see. I like when that happens. Now we can pull all these things out of here. We don't really have to because when we pull the sticker off, it's all gonna come off. One thing I do wanna show you is that I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm gonna give it a little brushing of Wink of Stella all over the snowflake, okay? That way it's gonna just kind of pop out a little bit little sparkle against the solid white. Okay, so let's pull off that backing. Be careful so that you don't tear anything. You know, come on guys. Do what you're supposed to do and just come out and look pretty. There we go. Okay, well, these little things aren't pulling off today. Usually they just come right out. Mm -hmm. I should have done it right the first way, the first time. Now I'm paying the price. Paying the price. Well, what the heck? Come on, guys. Do you guys talk to your paper <laughs> and your tools like I do? Okay, now do it the right way. I was being lazy and I didn't want to pull all those things out. All right, do we have sticky everywhere? Yes, okay. Now stick it down to your solid white like that, okay? Um, dimensionals, dimensionals, where are you? Hello, here they are, okay. I'm gonna put a stitched red, real red heart in the middle right there with a dimensional. And then, you know, I think I might have used my little piece of paper for the sentiment. Yesterday, my stamp was not stamping correctly. And so I had to stamp it a couple times. We'll use this. I'm gonna tell you a cautionary tale, okay? This, um, this stamp set is red rubber. And so the sentiment is red rubber. And when I tried to stamp it yesterday, it was it was like indented right here because apparently I had set on the tray, I had set something heavy on it. And so it, it left like an indent on my stamp. So cautionary tale, don't do that. Don't <laughs> make sure nothing is sitting on top of your stamps because it would not stamp correctly. And hopefully, yeah, today, today the foam popped back up. 
and it's fine. But yesterday I was like, oh my gosh, did I did I ruin this stamp set? By and I don't even know. Maybe it was the edge of one of the other trays that was on it, but it um it left its mark for sure. All right. So now again. We're gonna just cut that at an angle and cut that at an angle. And it probably needs to be a little bit thinner. Do I have my other trimmer over here? No, I don't. Oh well, well we're just gonna go for it. Put a dimensional, another one, right here in the middle, okay? Now isn't that cute? Tone on tone, so white on white. <laughs> Thank you, you guys are sweet. All right, put that right there. And last but not least, we shall add a bow. We shall add a bow. This is the sparkle, no, glittered organdy ribbon. It is kind of light and airy and ties really nicely it's not kind of, you know our black glitter ribbon is kind of rough and it doesn't tie very well okay and ta-da <laughs> there you go look i actually have four this um i did this um for my team who earned a special celebration celebration last week we did mystery stamping and this was my mystery stamping card um, and so I did it with them. This was my original. This is for the clean recording. And then this is today. Now I have, I've got four gift card holders. Woo-hoo! Because I will be giving a lot of gift cards this year, I'm sure. Okay, we've got one left. And have I already said this one's my favorite? I've probably already said that, right? Because I don't know. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> don't make me choose which one is my favorite. Okay, I don't have room for this. I do not... Have room. All right, we're gonna watercolor. So we have done tone on tone. We've done um, uh, paper piecing, and this time we're gonna watercolor. The project I'm gonna show you at the end. Monday's project. We are actually going to use Stampin' Blends. Can you believe we didn't use Stampin' Blends? I usually that's usually my go-to right away. Is Stampin' Blends, but we didn't use Stampin' Blends this time. Okay, let me get all of my stuff over here. I uh, don't have enough room on this desk. I don't know why. Okay, so here we go. We're going to watercolor it. Isn't that beautiful? Um, we're also going to emboss the background and do some splatters. So let me get my grid paper. I am using watercolor paper. You can, when you watercolor with our water painters, you want to use either um, watercolor paper or our shimmer white cardstock. Um, the other paper, like if you try to watercolor on just our basic white, it's gonna pill, you know, not peel, but pill. It gets those little, little bumpy, you know, it tears the paper basically. Paper doesn't take the water very well. So I have stamped it in Versamark and I don't know why you can actually see it. There must have been some kind of ink on there before, which is weird because I made this exact card yesterday. I don't know what is on that stamp, but that's okay. We're gonna emboss it with white, um, white uh, embossing powder. I put my embossing powder in a little Tupperware thing, have a spoon, and I just spilt it everywhere. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna hit it with a heat tool. And my heat tool stopped working yesterday. Everyone cross your fingers. But then it worked again, so I don't know. I don't know what happened. So it takes about, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. And you know what, while that's heating up, I can see that I have a few little flecks right here. You wanna make sure that you don't have any flecks of embossing powder. It's really hard when you do white on white. It's hard to see it. We're, when we watercolor this, it's going to do what we call water um, emboss resist. So all the lines that are embossed 
heat embossed are going to resist the color and they will stand out against the color. So you can do this with any color embossing powder that you want. All right, so go around. You will definitely know when it has turned. It looks very different. It's kind of shiny and puffy. Um, make sure you don't hold your heat tool in the same place for too long because it will scorch your paper. Let me see. And if you leave it on like this so it maintains the temperature, make sure it's not <laughs> pointed at anything that's important because it is hot, hotter than a hairdryer. Okay, now, oh, don't you hate that? I hate that feeling. Ugh. Um, we're gonna, we are going to use our water painters and look, polished pink is back. I brought it back. I can't get enough of polished pink. I am just gonna use my, um, I need to get a paper towel. My clear block as a, you know, like a little paint palette. And I filled my um, water painter with water. And actually, before I do that, I'm gonna get this. Gosh, suddenly it looked like it wasn't embossed. <laughs> I'm gonna get this and all wet. I'm gonna just lightly go over it with my water painter. Um, the water painters behave differently than our aqua painters did. Um, I find that I have to untwist it a little bit to let the water come out. If you have it twisted too tightly, the water seems to not come out as much. So play around with it and you'll kind of find the, the sweet spot of where it needs to be twisted in. And they twist in backwards. So if you get them, it's not righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's the opposite. And when I first got them, I almost tore the thing in half trying to trying to unscrew it. <laughs> I was like, there's something wrong with this one. It's welded shut. My friend Ange was like, Erica, go backwards. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. So just FYI. I don't know why they're backwards. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm squeezing water onto this, um, little block here as I go to keep my ink nice and wet and I want this little spot right here to be light so I'm not going to go over that anymore but I am going to add some more darker color around like this you can also use um, a blender pen now not stampin blends but a blender pen is kind of like a marker um, that has Clear, a clear solvent in it that will do kind of the same thing um, with our inks and you could also use watercolor pencils in the same way all right I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna let that be let that be good I could I could seriously sit here and paint and paint and paint and paint and never be satisfied all right, now clean off your, your um, water brush here like this, um, squirting the water out. And then a little smoky slate. When you buy um, the water painters, you get three different sizes. You get a real wide fat brush and you get a skinny brush and then you get one in the middle. I find that I really like the skinny one. Okay, so there's that. We're going to let that dry for just a little while. I'm probably going to have to hit it with a heat tool since we don't have 10 minutes to let it dry. But what we can do in the meantime is do a little splatter on our, um, our white piece. It's going to go in the background that we're going to emboss. It's actually shimmer white. I wanted it to be a little bit sparkly. So I'm just going to take some ink and just literally splatter, okay? Um, what did I miss? I missed a question. 
do 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 do. I'm missing something. I don't see it. Pam, replying to Pam. Did, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it. Okay, so we've done that. And now we're going to emboss with this adorable embossing folder called, I don't know, what's it called? Let me look, let me look at my list. Mary Melody. Mary Melody. All right, is this gonna be dry enough? Let's, normally watercolor I want to let dry by itself because the water dries differently by itself than then what it it's going to look more like watercolor if you let the puddles dry on their own but just for the sake of the video we are going to just help it along okay and if you think that your color isn't intense enough after it dries go back and do it again each time you do that the color is going to get more and more intense and beautiful all right we're going to use the same ornament that we used last time. And my paper is warped because it got wet. So I don't want to, I don't want my die cut to slip when I run it through. So I'm gonna put on some post-it tape and run that through. So you can see how the white embossing powder has resisted the color and left a little design on there. And then we are gonna switch these plates out and get our plate number four and our Merry Melody. We want the notes to pop up out front, right? Like up. So you want the front of your paper to be here on the side where it has a Stampin' Up! logo and then line it up with that line on the bottom. Put that in, fold, um, seam to the out, seam to the in. I don't know, I'm not even gonna give you advice. Everybody has a different way of doing it. And as someone pointed out to me last time, there's instructions on here that tells you which way to do it. So. I just do it. I just run it through. No problem. All right. <laughs> Such a good teacher. Y'all just do it, whatever. Do it however. All right. We're going to put our Mary Melody embossed shimmer white polished pink splattered piece on a black mat. And look what's coming back today. My favorite paper. The black and white gingham from the Pattern Party DSP. That Pattern Party DSP is free. Um, one of the things you can choose for free when you spend over $150. I have several packs. I love it so much. Now, I don't know if my friend Anita is watching, but I seem to put the music notes upside down. <laughs> and she'll text me later and be like, Erica, your notes are upside down. So don't look at my notes. I don't know. I don't know if they're upside down. Um, you know what? I forgot again to do the little thing. So let me peel this up a little bit. Um, we are using the Elegant Trim. And I'm going to cut just a little piece like this. And we're going to wrap a piece around this way. Okay. My, uh, it looks like my piece came went wonky as I ran it through because it's not straight. So see, I'm going to hold that down with the dimensional. I'm going to come back here and do the same thing. Hold it down with the dimensional. Okay. And put that right there. Ooh, the crookedness is bothering me. And then this one can go right there. And... <laughs> Michelle, I really like this set now. Good. I told you guys, this set is a sleeper. I didn't I didn't expect to love it as much as I love it now. It's really a good set. Okie dokie. Now let's get a mini glue dot. It looks like I've got several mini glue dots here. 
and put that right there. All right, now I'm got a, I've got an embellishment that's gonna surprise you. The cute Halloween stars. They will go perfectly with this, the black ones. So we'll put a couple of these guys here. Just because it says it's Halloween doesn't mean it has to be Halloween, right? Okay, now, I can't tell if it's crooked because the embossed piece is crooked. Okay, well, we're gonna go with it. Now, I I went a little rogue this time and didn't use the, the sentiments from the Bright Bobble stamp set. I am using Holly Jolly Wishes. And I couldn't come up with a way to put the sentiment on the front without taking away from the image. I just, I don't know. I wanted it to just really be the focal point. So we're just going to stamp the sentiment on the inside. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Stamp whatever sentiment you want. You be the, ah, I ran out of adhesive. You decide, do I have any more? I do. You decide whatever sentiment you want. You could use the ones from the stamp set another stamp set, whatever you want. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I think you guys need this bundle. It's a really, really good one. Okay, so we have watercolored. Look at that, I am on time. I probably rushed through it. Oh wait, I forgot something. Wink of Stella, I forgot, hold on. This has to have Wink of Stella, come back. Add some Wink of Stella right here. I mean, it's Christmas. We gotta have some sparkle on everything. I forgot that I did that. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. If you don't have a Wink of Stella brush, you're missing out. This is a easy way to add glitter and sparkle to your project without making a giant mess with glitter. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's great. Okay, so there we have three ways to use the Bright Bubble Bobbles, Bright Bubbles. I keep wanting to call it beautiful bubbles, bobble, <laughs> bobbles. Uh, we did this one and then this one. Now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of Monday's project too. This one I love so much, I almost, I couldn't decide which ones to show. Oh, look, I got splatter on it. Ugh. But look, I'm gonna show you how to make a shaker out of it. Can you guys see the shaker? And funny enough, I saw a reel just just this afternoon with a shaker. Was it Stampin' Up's Real also? I think they made a shaker with this one, I think. So you'll have to check Stampin' Up's Instagram account, but I'm gonna show you how to make this little shaker right here and color it with Stampin' Blends. Cause you know I love my Stampin' Blends. Okay, Harl, oh, I'm glad you guys like it, good. Um, you think the last one's your favorite, Bonnie? I know, right? I, I love all of them. This was the first one I made, and then I made that one, and I loved them, and then I made that one, and I, I loved them all. I'm glad you guys like them. All right, now, reminders, make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, grab the free PDF, has the measurements and the supplies. Under each um, photo over there, there's also a link to the clean recording on my YouTube channel if you want to just rewatch those. Um, if you need to rewatch them. Um, also, let's see, I'm gonna update the Facebook video here with all the links of all the things that I told you. And next week we're doing Words of Cheer. That's what will be Facebook Friday next week, Words of Cheer. All right, don't forget um, Paper Pumpkin subscription is Wednesday. We've got the new starter kit sale. Um, if you want these for free, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. Use that host code. Um, I think that's it. I'm probably forgetting something else. Who knows? Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. I really appreciate it. I look forward to this all week. I have so much fun with you guys. Um, and I will be back next Friday. All right. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.